in this module of instruction, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about handgun selection as well as a little bit about ammunition selection and how to use your handgun just to train in your home for self-defense. So what you see presented in front of you right now is several weapons. First of all, I've got a compact 45. That's actually my favorite weapon to carry um, concealed. I like it because it's thin, it's got a short barrel, and I actually can wear it underneath a t-shirt that's actually tucked in um, using a, a waistband type uh, holster. Um, it's 45 caliber, has a little bit of recoil, the shorter, uh, the shorter barrel length will give it a little bit more flip if you're not, if you're not very good at uh, controlling the weapon. Second weapon you see there is a uh, Glock, uh, particularly this one here is a Glock 19. It's uh, customized, it also has an M6 laser and a white light system attached to it. Again, it's got a larger capacity magazine. It'll hold 15 rounds total, um, and uh, versus you know six or seven rounds in the uh, in the compact 45. So you actually get twice as much ammunition, although I'll be at a smaller caliber. Um, the next weapon you'll see laying in front of you um, is a 38 caliber uh, revolver, six shot. Again, it's a, what many of us call a wheel gun. Um, to my surprise, there's still a lot of uh, people out there use them, especially security guards. Um, you know, the, your, the weapon has limitations. It's got a short muzzle, you've got a short range. Um, because the, the design of the handgun itself, you get a lot more flip in the gun, a lot more recoil. And, uh, and then also, unless you stage the trigger and stage the hammer, you basically have a two stroke draw on this thing that's going to be uh, that's a lot of pounds per pressure that you have to apply to make that uh, the hammer come back and then go forward. So, um, the, the issue with that is if you have to shoot quickly, first round, there's a good chance you're going to throw around just because you have to squeeze so hard to pull that trigger, unless you've got adequate training in that realm. Um, now, so you have another weapon here. It's another 45. It's a little bit longer. Um, this particular one's got an extended magazine in it, so I can actually hold 11 rounds versus 7 uh, in my weapon, so it gives me a few extra bullets. Obviously, the, the drawback with that is you have an extension or an extended magazine protruding out of the magazine wall of your rifle or your weapon, and uh, it kind of makes for, uh, it complicates things if you're going to try to carry it concealed. So and that's actually more of my tactical carry gun, not so much as a concealed carry gun. Um, moving on. So let's talk about the next uh, the next weapon you see in landers. It's a SIRT gun, S-I-R-T. It's made by a company called SIRT, S-I-R-T. And basically this, it's a, uh, it's not a, uh, it's not a real weapon, okay? It feels like a real weapon. It's got the same weight as a real weapon. Um, in a lot of ways, it functions like a real, real weapon, including a um, removable magazine. But uh, inside the weapon, you have a laser, and actually you have two lasers in it. You have a green laser and a red laser. Basically, what this laser system allows you to do is actually practice pulling the trigger and uh, putting your sights on target and hitting a target. Um, what's the benefit to that? Well, the benefit is you're not putting bullets down range, spend a lot of money, you can actually practice um, marksmanship fundamentals, which by the way I would argue is about 80% dry fire and 20% range fire. And uh, you can actually practice this in the environment that you may find yourself fighting in, for example, in your home.